Hey everybody, it is the Hebrew Jamaican Cooley on a rainy day right now, heading to work. And I wanted to drop a, another video. I wanted to talk about, you know, um, things that black girls go through when they have mothers that don't care about them. Right? And I think it's something that we really need to put a lot of attention to. Because we spend a lot of time making, I mean, we, we spent a lot of time allowing white supremacy media to, to spin a narrative that black men are so horrible. They're the monsters. They're the boogeyman. They're the things that everything that's wrong that goes bump in the night is a black man. Especially a black man in America. <clears throat> they do the same thing with Jamaican men as well. You understand? I remember growing up and I've read so many articles, you know, about men that don't take care of their children. And I've always had the question, how is it that these men or these women make a choice to sleep with such men? Do they never know in the beginning that this person is going to be like that? And, you know, even though that's not the case or the story that I want to talk about right now, I just wanted to make that point in which that we always talk about how horrible men are but we never want to hold the women accountable who choose these men who have no if, if a man is really horrible a lot of guys know that guys are horrible a lot of guys know that guys are horrible i mean i spoke about this last night in my video where when we see a certain man of integrity a certain man that lack integrity we don't mess with him we don't even keep him in our company it's like a high and by type of situation right but women are not like that you understand so you know moving on to the point that, ab about this video about what i want really want to talk about right i spoke about about a year or two ago two years ago i spoke about my ex right when I was young, I was 14 years old while we were dating. She was 13. She was a year younger than I was. And we were dating while going to church together. That's where we met. We met at a party. Uh, you know, we went to the same church, etc. Whatever it is. She was drafted into my friendship group, whatever it is. So, you know, Kay and I, you know, had a relationship that basically lasted like six months. And it lasted... Um, for six months because she was an extremely abusive person. And I walked away from the relationship because of that. There, She constantly, you know, condescendingly spoke to me. She was very condescending to me. <clears throat> On a regular basis, she always tried to make herself seem that she was the better out of the two of us in the relationship. And when I saw an outlet to leave the relationship, I left and I told her to, you know, I told her that I basically didn't want to be in a relationship with her anymore. And, you know, this was my friend who basically conveyed the message to her, though. But he conveyed the message very, very well because I was in earshot of him basically telling her that, you know, I don't want to be in a relationship with her anymore. So he basically said that, yo, all you do is disrespect the youth and, you know, say certain things to him and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he basically just don't want any part of that anymore. And, you know, she broke down in tears. She begged me to stay with her. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to stay with you because I really and truly don't want to be with a person that's like that. Like the, you know, the milk has already been spoiled and I'm, and I'm not into drinking that right now. You see me? So, basically, the relationship ended. Now, a couple years go by. She and I remained friends. We became best friends. You know, there are times we had a couple of moments where we would, you know, kiss here and there. Have those little, you know, high school moments. Those little romantic moments. You understand? But we never got back into a full-fledged relationship. Anyway, um... One of my best friend, N, or I can basically say her name, Nicole. One of my best friend, Nicole. 
she basically years after we broke up you know and we were sitting down and we were talking about her and thing and you know she asked me why did you break up with her and i said well i broke up with her and i explained the reasons and i said like every time she would like say stuff to me and do stuff to me and say some bad stuff to me and whatever it is and as a 14 year old boy a little boy i couldn't handle that you understand and and i said to her i honestly really and truly don't want to be with a person that speaks to me like that you know so my best friend you know said to me you know do you know what she was going through while you guys had a relationship and even before you guys met? I was like, before we met, I was like, what do you what what what, what do you mean by that? She was like, well, take a seat. So I basically like sat down and we started to talk. And it so happens that my ex's mother was selling her and would sell her regularly to her boyfriends to get money to, you know, basically fund her lifestyle and basically, you know, take care of the house, pay the bills and stuff like that, you know. Let me tell you something, people. I don't care whatever reason you have. You don't have the right to sell any child to foot your bills. You don't have any right to foot any child, to sell any child to foot your bills. I found that to be extremely distasteful. Now, not only did I find out about her story, but now after that the floodgates had actually opened because many more girls I started to seek out these girls in terms of like finding out this type of trauma in their lives and it is astounding how these stories even when reported or even when told to adults fly under the radar because why? It's a woman perpetrating these types of atrocities onto children. And these children happen to be female as well. Why is it that we tend to ignore the evil one gender does and demonize the other gender? And I keep saying it over and over again. We pedestalize the female gender too damn much. And ignore the evil that is within them. As if they can commit no wrong. And a lot of our children in society. They're perishing. They're perishing because of this foolish thought. Of pedestalization of agenda. A lot of children are with the wrong parent. Whether it be male or female. We, te we, we keep saying that women are the best parents, right? Best parents, but the, the, the statistics show that the most harm that come, on the, um, come to children happen in the care of their mothers, in the care of single mothers. Right? We need to stop ignoring this type of thing because we need to address it. There are women out there that do no good to children. And we need to call them out for who they are. Not everybody is deserving of being a mother. As I said yesterday too, not everybody is a king and not everybody is a queen. Some people are, are, just, are just clowns and court jesters. You understand? They're, they're nothing. Right? The floodgates... Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to finish up. So the floodgates opened. Right? And I would see girls that would usually come to me and like tell me their stories. 
we had friends in church that would usually now start approaching us. And I don't know if it was a spirit that was leading them to talk to us about it. Or that we seemed open enough for you to talk to us. But that's what was going on. These people were now approaching us and letting us know what was going on in their lives or what had happened to them. Like I had this, this friend, right? This friend, she was telling me how her aunt, her aunt would come in the bath, the, um, the shower, would come in the shower and do stuff to her, right? Would come in the shower and force herself on her, even when she told the aunt no. The aunt would force herself on her. Not only that, the aunt would take her to a house where she and her boyfriend would do stuff to her. Tell me all women are innocent. Tell me all that women love children more than men love children. Tell me that women make better parents and guardians. Tell me that women know how to vet people who want to do evil to their children better than men. We seem to love demonizing men. We seem to love demonizing, you know, all colors of men saying that men are evil, men are this, and get rid of the world of men. As if women have never done anything wrong in their entire lives or will never or can never do anything wrong in their entire lives. And that's the most foolish thought to have in society. Anyway, this was supposed to be a quick video. But this is the Hebrew Jamaican Cooley. Peace. Have a blessed day. I'm out.